I mean, I have a really big face, so if I can just be about an inch behind you, that'd be great. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tipsy Talk with Anna Newton now. Weird. I just got married. She just got married. I just got married. I mean, I'm only Anna Newton on Facebook and my email signature currently. <laughs> like everything else. <laughs> Too lazy to Yeah, everything else. else. I'm like, oh, so that'll like next year or something. Like hassle, doesn't it? It really is. And I'm signed up to like a million and one newsletters. Like, that's never going to change. Your glass is empty. That means I've already downed a glass of wine before we started. We have. Class. We started already. But that's the whole point, <laughs> right? Yeah, I need to say thank you to Jacobs Creek for supplying the wine for this episode. Thanks, oh, yeah. It is nice that I've landed in a career now where I get wine for free. Like, and also a wine sponsorship, like, <laughs> gold. like the dream. I think you do like rosé, don't you? I do like rosé. I have to say, I wasn't big into wine previously. Same. But now, I'm into it. Into it in a big Any way. Any kind. I rose? haven't made the move to red yet. Really? I'm not ready. Well, okay, so this is, this is me and my drinking. I don't really like the taste of alcohol. And so there's only very few things I will drink. Like amaretto. Yeah. Yes, okay, we're on the same I'm not, page. I'm not yeah. crazy about the taste of alcohol, but there are something, I started to get into kind of sweeter wines and roses and stuff. They do a nice sweet white wine, but I haven't tried their reds yet because I, I don't drink Oh girl, do you, you like need to progress. Okay. Are there, there, is a way to to, there is a way to do it. Mm -hmm. You mix it with a well-known fizzy drink brand. <laughs> right? Like a spritzer with red wine. Yes. Last year I was in... San Francisco with Kaylee Malloy, I don't know if you know Kaylee. And we all went out to like a proper vineyard in California oh, and shit. like did wine tasting for the day. And yeah. it actually was really cool. And they they did have some red wines that I kind of could get into a little bit. Also wine tasting, like by I the know. time you're it on like amazing. the third one. We're like, this is glorious. <laughs> Her mother drove us from vineyard to vineyard as we all just got more and more drunk. And we were piled oh. in the car, there was like, too many of us in the car, so I was just sat on Jack's lap in the back. And we had a really great day, actually. I'm telling you, wine is fine. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Need somebody with a huge... Oh, no, no, it's like... Always, always on the run, gotta stop oh, that's down, it. baby, you gotta have some fun. Oh! Did you just whip? Is that what it is? Oh, it's a swing with both yeah, like hands, a swing. but you had yeah, wine, no, so yeah, it looked no. like you were whipping. Good. This tastes good. Yeah, I quite like this. Very sweet. I just, I like sweet wine. Do you have a real sweet tooth? No, funny enough. Really? My go-to snacks would be savoury. If you put chips or crisps or something in front of me, I'd just eat them forever. Whereas I would eat like a square of chocolate and stuff. And I, I, I'm I thought sorry. we were going to be such good friends, but that's just really, this is really changing. Speaking of which, <laughs> we have a weird friendship. I haven't seen you in about two years. You literally haven't seen Hazel in about two years, but I feel like we tweet quite often. We do, we keep in touch. Like, like friends. It was really funny because I was saying to people, I was like, oh, Anna's coming around to like do a thing. And they're like, Anna who? <laughs> we're from different YouTube worlds, but I yeah. think we have like, we have a common ground in the middle and we're very good on Twitter with each other. We do, we interact I always, a lot. I always like keep up with you. Yeah, always, you like, 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 yes. I feel like I'm on top of your life. How are you? Are you how are you? How are you? Oh, that's really nice. No one ever asks that because everyone's like, oh, I've already seen on Instagram stories. I know exactly what's going on. That's not the full, we were just talking about how that's not the full story. It's completely not. I'm good. Yeah? If any, I mean, I just got married two months ago. Congratulations. Thank you. Was it only um, two months? Yeah, it feels I felt like, like that was longer. I know, it feels like it's been ages. And I was telling Hazel that if anyone says to you that like being married is like so amazing and feels so different, it, it, it doesn't. In the loveliest way, my husband is awesome and I love him a lot. And now if he watches this, we're like, what a bitch. I think there's so many like social pressures out there that's very like, this is this is how you do it. Yeah. And you get married, you move in, and you get married and you have a bit. Like, I don't care that much about getting married. I like the no. idea of doing it one day. I think it would be really nice, but I'm not one of those women who's like, I have to. You do haven't this. like dreamt of your day since you were like not three or something. Really, no. no. I think it's a lovely idea that at some point you reach a point in your relationship where you're like, I would like to celebrate this. Like, I would like to have all my closest friends and family around me and say, this is the person I want to commit to. And hey, let's all have an ease off and get drunk. I mean, that bit is really fun. That sounds lovely. Yeah, that's super I fun. don't really care that much about the marriage aspect. <laughs> so there's apparently a thing called a super taster. And I know what? that all my friends at this moment in time are starting to laugh because they know what I'm about to say. What are you going to say? So I've been going around for a while being like, I'm a super taster now. 
like I just taste things like really strongly and I'm like I'm being a dick about it but it's not you're being a liar it's okay. just, I'm trying to be right yeah. but the thing is like some people taste things like way more strongly than other people and so generally these people hate stuff like coffee or licorice or coriander or alcohol <gasps> I hate coriander I thought you were gonna say I hate coriander and it's, it's so funny like living with Dodie because she just she would just eat seasoning like, she made me pasta one night and bless her heart like she made me dinner and I was very grateful but I started to eat it and I was like I can't do this honey I'm so sorry I'm just gonna have to make my own like it what was, was it too salty she had too? Put, to everything she puts <laughs> all the flavors like she had made pasta and she had like she'd done some kind of like chicken stock cube with it which is kind of cool or a vegetable stock okay. cube or something and like that's c- cool in yeah. itself but then there was also like the seasoning and the salt and the pepper and the cheese and the chili and the like lime all of that just came together and I tasted it and it was like you know when you eat like pure <laughs> vitamin C tablets or something and your jaw I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like to do that <laughs> I, I do like the vitamin C tablets probably in about this much water and I'm like this is the good shit oh wow yeah this is the good shit <laughs> that's my perfect Sunday morning right there <laughs> I really want to do karaoke all the time yes Anna Yes. I love What's Maybe. your song? What's your song? Oh God, I don't know. When so we my wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you go for the ballad. You go for the ballad. Do you know? Do you know what's a good one ballad. though? The classic. What? No doubt, don't speak. Such a good. It song. is. Everyone gets behind it. You don't even need to look at the lyrics. Such a good karaoke song. And like, I didn't the, it? Oh, yeah. it's just like mm, not like really a torn. If there's one thing that I love in life, <laughs> it's 90s music. 90s power ballads in particular. We had a friend once who maybe isn't really fair because he was quite he was quite like mentally unstable at the time. We took him to karaoke because we thought, fuck it, we'll get him out. But he got up to sing. Oh no, what did, what did he say? No, so I just need you to picture. So he's like a white Irish man. <laughs> Okay. In like a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. It's summer. Yeah. We're in a pub in like Hoth. He's decided to do the thong song. Does he do it properly? No. He got. He literally like got up, clasped the mic, stared at the screen, and the whole way through was like, "Ooh, that dress so scandalous!" <laughs> and you know, couldn't handle it, and shaking that thing like, "Ooh, this and baby, that thong, that thong, thong, thong." What are your feelings on clickbait? Let's talk clickbait because then we can put clickbait as the title for this <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go I don't like it neither do I great let's talk about that <laughs> I think I know that I could call a video something really like the most expensive bag I've ever bought and it's shit or you know people do ones where they look like they're like dying or something or they look like they hurt themselves badly thank you those are the ones that get me the most I just think you should be honest your audience should like know what they're getting before they click the video because you never feel good when you click a clickbaity video you feel no, tricked. you feel cheated. Yeah, exactly. Do you know that I recently did a video where I mentioned this and then all hell broke loose? Mm-hmm. Right. So we'll say no more about that. <laughs> Those are the situations that get me the most. It's when it's like an emotional betrayal. It's yeah. where they play on someone's empathy and sympathy where you're like, that person's hurt or someone yeah. they love is hurt or in pain or something's wrong. The real life equivalent of calling someone and being like, help, I've fallen down and I can't get up. It's like a prank help. call. And then it's they come running to help you and you're like, lol, I'm fine. I just, I don't like it. I think it's a real like wanky it. side of YouTube and I'm not into it. I have like mad respect for people that don't do it, even when they could. Like as a That's viewer. That's when I'm like, you're a good one. Yeah, as a viewer, <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's golden. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Literally last year, I went to VidCon with Lily and all we did was stalk Adrian Bliss. Adrian is my bezzy. He's editing my series. Oh my god. I've been spending so many days with Adrian. Major fangirl moment for me. Are you serious? Oh, he's just Adrian? No, he's so <laughs> funny. He he's is so hilarious. funny. Like, yeah. literally, me and Lily went to VidCon, and all we did is we watched him at two different panels. Like, oh seriously, god, like, we went to so one, funny. and then we, like, queued outside to watch him on another one. And I was disappointed. He was not getting enough panel time. I was like, just let Adrian He talk. said he went on, he literally told me yesterday, he was like, I went on one panel and I just didn't really speak. <laughs> yeah. Genuinely like met him, was like, I love you, can we get a selfie? Have you a selfie. didn't? Yeah. Have a selfie. That is just, in my mind, that is just so funny. <laughs> I'll show you, i try and find it. <laughs> Would you get flustered if you, like say you did like tipsy talks the way I do with like celeb people. Would you, mm. or do you feel like that's, because for me that's like, that's work and I know what I'm going into and I'm being professional. I don't think I would, I think, 
like the celeb that would get me weak at the knees is Ryan Gosling. Wow, I mean, I mean, if I, on. I just even just thinking about that moment, if maybe we were in the same room, I can't breathe. Just even thinking about that, I'm like, I would die, possibly. I've been in the same room with him several times. Also, yeah, because you saw the, was it the premiere of something, and he was there, and Jack said that he was dreamy. Yeah, Jack quite likes Gaza as well. He'd what be gay for Gaza, we've been through this. We saw, it wasn't La La Land, it was Nice Guys. And then I was like, I got my camera out to film it, and Jack was like, Hazel, don't miss this moment. <laughs> That's Ryan Gaza, don't look through the lens, look at it, and I was like, what a good boyfriend. That you would look out for my interests. And be like, you need to, to see absorb. Gaza. If I found myself face to face with Chris Hemsworth. I mean, <laughs> for me, the pinnacle of like what Hazel's done on YouTube is, is La La Land. The La La Land video is, is incredible. I thought and, like, you were just going to say it was the Chris No, <laughs> but I did also say like, I also need to just give you kudos for the Chris video that you and Jack did where you rated Chris's. It was Jack's idea. To be Genius. fair, I've got to give that to because I have been struggling with which is my favourite Chris for quite a long time now and his, it was his idea to just throw me in the deep end in a video. It just made me like so happy. Them. Like literally all the way through I was like Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt and the fact that Chris So you you'd put Pratt on top. But that's because I'm a massive Parks and Rec fan. I also am a huge Parks and Rec fan. It's, it's hard to separate him from Andy. Yeah, him and Andy yeah. are the same person. Like Parks and Rec, I think I've watched it about seven times all the really? way through. Really? So, okay, so I haven't even finished it yet. The last ever episode of Parks and Rec is just one of the most beautiful Oh God, things. I want like, to watch it again. It makes me cry, even though I know what's happening. I can watch season two especially, I'm really into season two. I can season watch, two is amazing. I can watch season two and practically say word for word, like what's going to come next. Oh, that's wow. how obsessed I am. Are you going to Summer in the City? No, I feel really bad for oh, anyone don't. wanting to see me. I'm like, oh, just, we'll just meet on the street. Like, I never want people to just see. Just go to Brighton, yeah, it's pretty small. To be fair, when, <laughs> I feel like when people see me, I'm like playing Brighton bingo for them. It's like, Great. see a YouTuber. Great. They're like, do you know where Zoe is? Like, I'm like, no, I'm no. sorry. And I wouldn't <laughs> tell you if I did. I find it really difficult when people come up and like, look, I get it. I understand it happens, but people get nervous and they don't know what to say, but then the onus yeah, is on I, me oh, to know. say something and I don't know what to say. I'm just as nervous. I don't know what to say. Either. I get like that when I meet people though. I'm really like, I think it's a great idea. Adrian Bliss, I think that it's a great idea. Go over, go to- Why is Adrian go to Bliss your go-to celeb now? Photo we should get him on the him. phone. No, no don't, no don't, I'll be really embarrassed. <laughs> I'm sorry Adrian. Should I like, include a little message from him at the end of the video? <laughs> <laughs> Hi Hannah, Love Anna, lovely to meet you. Now, Hazel says that I'm your big, you're my biggest fan, so I just wanted to say hi and make your day. Don't cry, here's a napkin. Apparently we've already met, but to be honest, I don't remember you, because you're just another fan. No offence. Thank you for your support, and happy, get well soon.